what happens. Sometimes I just go with the flow and I forget back, oh yeah, all the pieces to it, you know? Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a good day so far. Today's video is going to be a little bit more on the casual side. We are going to do a lot of DIY projects around the house. I have been wanting to tackle a few things and I've just been putting it off because I'm like, they don't really make for like a complete video. So you thought, you know what? I'm just going to tackle them and you guys are going to come along with me for the day. So I hope you enjoy the video. We're going to be painting. We are going to be building a planter. We're going to be hopefully dyeing my hair if I can get to it because I need to do it. I haven't done it in like almost a year and a half and it needs some color. Like it is just black and boring and my plan was to actually go to the salon and get my hair done finally for like the first time in probably 10 years and then this all happened so that's not happening for a while so I thought you know what I've been doing my hair for 10 years basically and I'm gonna do it again um, I think I have the hair dye I think <laughs> I think I do underneath the sink I gotta check I'm pretty sure I do I bought some a while ago back in like December when I was gonna do it and then I just haven't gotten around to doing it so yeah and then I need to cut the boys' hair and stuff and then I'm gonna share with you guys a recipe as well it's something that I've been sharing a lot on Instagram but I know a lot of you don't follow me on there so I thought I'd just throw it into this video because it's really easy and I think your families will really enjoy it so I hope you guys are excited for today's video I think I'm gonna start off outside and we're gonna start painting one of the projects and then we'll go from there I'm not really sure I do want to enjoy the day because we had rain yesterday and we're supposed to get rain tomorrow and so today is actually what's well, kind of cloudy now it was super sunny and now it's cloudy and I'm like I gotta get out there and get painting because it's not a good you know it's not really fun to paint when it's raining and it's damp and cold and I want to enjoy the little bit of spring warmth that we're having so with that we're gonna get started but before we do I wanted to tell you that today's video is in collaboration with my really good friend Ashley at Till Back and Do Us Part she is so fun and encouraging you guys are really gonna like her channel she's been sharing tons of DIY projects on there home updates and she just recently did a home update on her exterior of her house and she did such a beautiful job lots of easy DIYs that you guys can create to make your house look like a million bucks I I mean she's done a really good job everything is really affordable that she shares and you guys are really gonna like it she does share lots of cleaning tips and cleaning motivation as well and lots of decorating ideas she loves to rearrange her house and I really enjoy that about her because at least for me being a stay-at-home mom I like to switch things up and I think that's part of the reason why I like to create a lot of different DIYs and share that with you guys because I just love to create I like to get my hands busy and create something fun and new and then I can splatter it throughout my house if I want to and it's just fun because it's really affordable so definitely go over to her channel today she is going to be painting a project she might be building a planter as well and then she's going to be I think organizing uh, her shed and stuff like that so definitely go check her out I will leave her video down in the description box below and her channel for you to go say hello and tell her I sent you and subscribe and if you happen to be coming over to her channel hey welcome my name is Emily and I am a mom to two boys we do currently homeschool we were doing that before all of this quarantine type of stuff was happening um, so hopefully maybe some of you will want to do more of it and some of you may not hunt um, they keep me pretty busy and then I just love to create things so my channel is a lot of DIY home decor decorating and makeovers that's what I enjoy doing and that's what you guys enjoy seeing so that is what I share with you guys so today's video is a little bit more casual hopefully you will enjoy it and if you do maybe I'll put these in once a month or something like that you'll just have to let me know so with that let's go ahead and get started with our projects before we head outside I'm going to share with you a really easy artisan bread recipe you only need a few ingredients three cups of flour two cups of hot water you'll need um, a teaspoon of salt and then a fourth teaspoon of rapid rise yeast you will combine those all as you'll see if you want to make this sweeter the way I am today you can add a tablespoon of sugar and then add cinnamon to it and then I'll show you the rest um, later before we start to bake it um, you can also add herbs to this if you'd like to just don't add cinnamon with it <laughs> or the sugar but it's super easy let me show you how you gather this all together
some saran wrap and cover it. And then just set it to the side. You want it to be at pretty much at room temperature. You don't want it to be super cold. Um, but you also do not need to heat this up at all either. Just set it to the side and let it sit while you go work on some projects for about three hours. So here's the pew that's going to be getting a makeover today. In our last house, it was actually our dining room bench, and it was in the house, and I love the natural look and everything. This house, it doesn't really look that good in, so it's been sitting um, in the garage for a while, and you can see that it's gotten a little dirty. So I blew it off, sanded it down a little bit, um, and now it's going to be painted. So you won't see all the little flaws in it. You'll just see the beautiful new pew. Um, but if you want to learn how to make this, I'll have the video linked in the description box below. I'll put a little um, card of what the thumbnail looks like on here. But it's fairly easy. You'll like it. Um, but I'm going to get to painting this. I'm just going to start by brushing in all the little crevices and then I'll go back and roll the rest of it. Take everything we got, give it an honest shot. definitely don't want paint highlights. <laughs> um, these are the rollers that I'm going to be using. It's just what I have on hand. Um, I tried to stock up on a ton of stuff back in February because of all this crap going on. Um, they're just the foam ones. I like these a lot. Um, again, it's all I have. So now we're going to roll the baby. finished painting the pew and looking really good. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it all white. Um, I'm thinking I might want to add like a little bit of black distressing to it or use like a dark gray. I'm not sure yet, but I just love the scalloped edge. I then only did one coat on there just because I want to like maybe, um, you know, shabby chic it a little bit, but I just think it's so cute with a little scalloped edge. Um, so that's done. So now we're going to move on to the next project. I went ahead and put on a sweatshirt because it got really cold out here. The sun is no longer out. It is definitely just rainy and cloudy. So, a well for sunshine today. Um, but we're going to make the most of it. I'm going to move on to move, making the planters. I've never actually made planters before. It seems like so weird. I've made so many projects on my channel, but never planters. So we're going to make some today. They're going to be super easy. And I found wood for it. I was thinking I was going to use um, these these one by fours that I had left over from a project and then I could probably only build one planter with them because I mean they're not very big but then I realized I have shiplap boards left over so they are not obviously very thick they're only about a fourth of an inch of plywood um, sheet so um, one side's primed one side is not so and my husband's like, woohoo, thank you for using those. He's tired of wood sitting out here in the garage. But, you know, I like to stock up on things. And then leftovers are always good for projects, you know. Can't go wrong with that. So I'm going to get started with this. And I'll take you along and tell you what you need to do to make one. So I'm just doing two, but I think I'm going to do three high because I have, do I have enough? Oh, I didn't think this all the way through yet. <laughs> So I have the sides of my planter box, the legs, but I need a bottom. I have some plywood that I could use for the bottom, so I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is what happens. Sometimes I just go with the flow and I forget like, oh yeah, all the pieces to it, you know? So. You know I want 
want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that style I've got six pieces total I'm gonna cut them all in half So I'll give me 12 boards And then I have my one by two here That's gonna give me three pieces, four pieces I'm gonna cut at each mark. Being with you is like never ending sunshine. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now? When you're looking like that, can't get enough of this. Being with you is a never ending sunshine. one side at a time I'm going to take these boards and my tight bond glue here and I'm going to just run that all the way down okay then I'm going to take this and I'm going to line this up on the bottom of the board here nail gun I have a half inch in there I'm just gonna pop. Where all I want is you. You make my world spin round and round. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Take another board. Place that one on top. And just line it up like that. bottom face to this if you wanted to and some legs I'm not sure if I'm going to do that um, we'll see but that is how you can do it you can also just make these longer if you want to and then just put some supports down it's up to you but this is the way it looks so far basically it's just a box and the thing I like about it is that I use my scraps for it so this didn't cost me anything which is really nice oh gosh I look like a hot mess sorry guys um the planter's done. I think it looks really good. Um, I wanted to paint it, but I don't have the color paint I need. And I don't want to use my craft paint because I only have a little bit of that left. And I need that for all my DIY projects that I share with you guys on a weekly basis. So that'll just hold off. At least I got it built. I feel like I've accomplished quite a bit um, so far today. What time does that say over there? It's 4.32. So I got to get their hair cut and then... Um, what do you call it? I gotta get my hair dyed before because I gotta start dinner around 5.30ish. So that doesn't give me much time to get my hair done. I might be making dinner with foils in my hair. <laughs> so that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and set my gas oven to 525. If you have an electric oven, you'll probably be good at 500. I have my Dutch oven here. You can use an enamel pot. Something with a lid that gets really hot is what you're gonna want. And we're gonna put this in the oven while it preheats. Less messy, I like to use parchment paper. And I fold it that way, that way it doesn't lift up on me. Then I take some flour and I just coat that on the top of the parchment paper. I have, some, I have about a third cup of brown sugar with maybe a 
teaspoon of cinnamon with this. We're gonna set that to the side. This is how your dough should look. It should look bubbly and just like a wet mess. It's okay. Now you're gonna get a little bit messy here. You're gonna take that and just scoop it out onto the parchment paper. And this is why I like using the parchment paper because otherwise it sticks to the countertop. And then I can also bake it in the parchment paper and then I don't even have to get my pan dirty. The only dish I have dirty is this one. I just take my brown sugar mixture, just press that onto the top of the dough. Nothing fancy here, you just wanna kinda of press it in. And then I wanna go ahead and take the dough and I fold it over onto itself. Okay, so you can do one side, basically kinda of like a present almost. You're just gonna fold it over and basically that locks in the sugar into the dough, okay, into your bread loaf. So now you're just gonna leave it like that. Don't mess with it. Your, when your oven is finished preheating, go ahead and just flour your fingers a little bit. Add a teeny bit of flour to the dough, and you're just going to kind of fold it over onto itself one more time. I'm going to bring it all together here. I'm trying to keep that sugar mixture on the inside. The easier it looks, the better for you, honestly. It'll come out really pretty looking. So. I'm gonna take it with the parchment paper and set it inside my pot. Remember, your pot is hot, so make sure you use some pot holders. You're gonna cover it and you're gonna put that in the oven for 20 minutes with the lid on. And then you're gonna take the lid off and cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes until it's brown and golden and beautiful. He's got some really long hair now. Look at that bed head right there. Oh my goodness. I have always used the Revlon Color Effect Frost and Glow. There's two different ones. I have extremely dark hair, so I feel like this one works really well for me. Use what works for you. I've always liked this. It does come with a cap. I did a cap um, when I was like a teenager, so I, mean, I don't do that anymore. I just use my foils. Um, these are about like maybe nine by 10.75, so not bad. I have my little clips, and then I do have a hair dyeing um, towel. Can you see how much I've dyed my hair? Yep, this is total proof that it's happened before, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get myself all ready to go and put my little shirt on and get this process started.
longer obviously because that's the side I started with. This side I will blow dry a little bit just to activate some of the heat and then I'll do the whole head and I'll take it off and probably like maybe 30-45 minutes something like that so. smoked pork chops, mashed potatoes, and then I did the zucchini in the pan with garlic, olive oil, salt, and pepper. These smell so good when they're smoked. Oh my gosh, they smell amazing. So we're gonna have this for dinner. Finished my hair. I did blow dry it and curl it so I could show you guys and you guys could see how pretty it looks. It's more of a sun-kissed look. I like a more of a natural ombre look for it to look like it's just very, very subtle, um, but still has like a little bit of highlight to it and depth, if that makes sense. And I never do the under part of my hair. I really like that to be natural. That way you can see the highlights come through, especially when I curl it and stuff. I feel like it looks really, really good. Now, there's different techniques to way you can do your hair. Do what works best for you. This is just the way I've been doing it for a long time. I don't dye my hair typically very often, maybe twice a year. Um, I used to do it a lot more than that, but now I'm just kind of like, I like that simple, like natural look, I guess you could say, with a little bit of sun kissed in it. Um, I also, I know somebody's gonna ask me, how do I have such thick hair? It's just what I was born with. My hair is actually fairly thin in the front, it's thicker in the back. So, yeah, but it is pretty thick hair. I don't do anything special. I eat healthy, I drink lots of water, and I only typically wash it once a week, and then I will add heat to it once a week. So that's it. I don't use any products in my hair, anything like that. I don't use a toner. I am very simple to the point type of girl. So if it's a fuss, I don't do it. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully that helps you out a little bit in ways to keep your hair kind of healthy. Just keep it as natural as possible, I guess you could say. Even though I dye it, that's not really natural, but you know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, long-winded. I hope you guys enjoyed today's DIY project vlog video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out Ashley's channel as well. It'll be in the description box below with any other videos you might happen to might have missed. They'll be in there. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here. Get outside, enjoy the sunshine, and have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys soon.